when I was maybe four or five, my parents noticed something was wrong. My muscles weren't developing properly. I wasn't reaching certain developmental milestones. So they took me to a doctor and they had did a muscle biopsy and that's when I got the diagnosis. Um, so I've had this disease since I was maybe four or five. And it's progressed very, very slowly. I've been able to do most things a kid would do, run around, play games, um, go to school. Um, I went, I'm going to law school, I'm in the PhD program now. It's only recently, maybe within the past four or five years, it's progressed much more quickly to the point where my walking has been affected. Um, I've always had the atrophy, but you know, writing is difficult. I can no longer eat or drink because I'm swallowing difficulties. Um, so that's what made me seek, you know, stem cells. None. I've seen uh, experts in different universities, different hospitals, and they all told me essentially, you know, try to live your life the best you can. Um, one recommendation was steroids, which I did not want to do because I am aware of the side effects. Um, aside from steroids, there was nothing. Just research. I'm, I'm an academic, so all I do is research. Looking online, looking at the academic literature, looking at the uh, newspaper articles and television coverage. And then I started reading more and more and more, contacting researchers in all different countries, people at Penn where I go to school, um, and just gathering as much information and as many opinions as I could to make a really informed decision about it. Um, I looked at Germany, Mexico, India, China, weighing the costs and benefits of financially, whether safety, um, a whole litany of things. You know, China, they use also traditional medicine as well as stem cells. Chinese medicine, it was a, a long-term program which I thought would be beneficial. China was the, was the best option, there was no question. Um, I'll be honest, the representative, Luca, it was great. I mean, any doubts I had, they were pretty much, pretty much estranged by our relationship. Um, you know, he made transfer the money, any question I had was answered. And, you know, the doctors were very forthcoming in their analysis. There was no, you know, we promised when you come in, you'll be good as new. There was none of that. It was very realistic. And I think that reassured me. Had they said you'll be perfectly healthy, I would have been skeptical. But there wasn't. Everything was realistic, yeah. It was different. It, I had never I'd been to Toronto. That was it. You know, being halfway across the world, I really just wanted to take it all in. People were very nice. Um, the culture is different, you know, it's not the U.S. Um, and I think as long as you go and open-minded about medical facilities, the way people will treat you, certain things that may or may not be available, you'll be fine. I mean, I, to be honest, I, it's exceeded my expectations. You know, it really, really has. And that's not just, you know, talking, you know, it really has. Oh, the hospital's been great, and the nurses have been wonderful. Um, the doctors, anything I needed. You know, always taken care of. Um, the representatives have been great translating, accompanying us to therapy, you know, ordering food. Um, anything I needed, it's been taken care of and very quickly. Um, I don't know what more I could have asked for. I've had three different types of treatments. I've had one IV administration, of one, one packet of stem cells. I've had on two separate occasions, intramuscular, which was three packets each time, where they did 100 or more individual injections into my muscles. Um, and I've also had one lumbar puncture. I've had acupuncture every morning at 9.30. I think that for me that's been very helpful. Um, I've had electric wave therapy to try to stimulate some of my muscles which haven't been working for 15, 20 years, literally. I mean, you know, my, my forearms and my biceps, some of those muscles probably haven't used since I was seven or eight. Um, and I've had physical therapy, which is massage, 
using some weights to try to strengthen the muscles. And it's tricky, and you know, I don't want to be overly optimistic about it. Um, and I also had an infection while I was here, which drained me. The doctors took care of it, it was no big deal. So it's hard to gauge. I know that my walking feels better. Little, my standing up feels much easier than it used to. Um, it's one of those things that's really, really hard to know. Um, have I had any miraculous, yeah, I can run a mile right now. You know, when I feel small things, where, you know, lifting my arm higher than I could before. Um, I, when I got here, like I said, I really had no bicep for 25 years. There's something in there now. I know it is. It's very, very slight. And I know, for me, because I haven't used these muscles in two decades, it's kind of unrealistic to think in three weeks I'm going to be super mad. Um, so I'm very realistic about the outcome. Have there been small things? Yes. Definitely. You know, I'm going to continue with um, the exercising, the therapy, um, taking care of my body. Um, and, you know, that's all I can really do. I mean, the doctors have been, you know, honest, it takes three to six months to really see the ultimate benefit. So a lot of it is being patient. And like everyone who's going to watch this video, they're going to want to come here and get the stem cells and jump out of the chair and walk. But I know, and they'll know, it's probably not realistic. So in the three to six months, do whatever they tell me to do, try to, you know, continue on with my, my PhD work, and um, in three to six months, see what happens.